Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Kalaturu Uha Sahi from C. Devraj Aras Medical College, Tamaka Kolar. Today, I'm presenting a paper on the topic of evaluation of normal measurements of fourth ventricle by computed tomography. My co authors are Dr. Deepthi Naik, ma'am, Dr. Anil Kumar Saklecha, sir, Dr. Chaitanya, Dr. Sandeep Mahima, and Dr. Pujita Chaudhary. Aim to evaluate normal measurements of fourth ventricle and their correlation with measurements of cerebrum and age. Introduction. Fourth ventricle of brain, a rhomboid-shaped small cavity containing cerebrospinal fluid, communicates anterior superiorly with third ventricle through narrow cerebral aqueduct, inferiorly with central canal of spinal cord, and superior laterally with subarachnoid space through the foramen of Lushka and Medjindi in its roof. Its dimensions may change with intracranial hypertension, psychiatric alterations, hydrocephalus, epilepsy, meningoencephalitis, migraine, spinal cord injuries, and neurocysticercosis. Normal size of ventricles in such cases may be of some help to come to a conclusion. Methods. Design of the study. Hospital-based prospective observational study conducted on 96 subjects. Method of data selection. Soft copies of normal head CT scans were selected for the measurements using Fusi Synapse image software. Inclusion criteria. The patients of both sex with age group from 2 years to 60 years. Virtually normal head CT scan. Unenhanced head CT scan. Exclusion criteria. CT scan showing gross pathological changes affecting the normal anatomy of ventricles. Methods. Image selection. For the present study, two images were selected for each patient. One, axial view at the level of head of caudate nucleus. In this view, AP diameter of the cerebrum was measured as the maximum distance between the inner tables of the skull in midline. Transverse diameter was measured at the midpoint of the AP diameter. The next view is axial view for fourth ventricle measurements. The view was selected in which a pond, cerebellum, petrous bone, mastoid, antrum, and temporal loops were visible to clearly visible clearly along with the widest part of the fourth ventricle. Results, uh, general demographic data, total number of patients included were 96, mean age of patient is 37 years, total number of male patients were 66, total number of female patients were 33. Statistical evaluation, all the data was checked by Levin's test for equality of variances for normal distribution, mean, standard deviation, ranges, and 95% confidence intervals were calculated for all the parameters. Two sample independent student t-test was used to find the difference in male and females in these indices. Correlation with diameters of cerebrum were found by calculating PSN co correlation coefficient. Correlation with age was found by studying regression statistics. The level of significance was taken as 0.05. This is a table of statistical analysis of frequencies of uh, data. Uh, mean age of the patient is 37 years uh, with the standard deviation of 16.8 uh, ranging from 3 to 60 years. Uh, coming to the AP dimension of the fourth ventricle, mean is uh, 0.75 with the standard deviation of 0.25 centimeter ranging from 0.3 to 1.6 centimeter. Uh, transverse diameter of the fourth ventricle mean is a 1.2 cm with standard deviation of a 0.31 cm ranging from 0.6 to 2.1 cm. Coming to the cerebral dimensions, uh, AP dimension, uh, mean is a 14.5 cm with the standard deviation of 0.67 uh, cm ranging from 12.8 to 16.3 cm. And uh, transverse dimension of the cerebrum, mean is a 12.3 cm with the standard deviation of 0.6 cm, uh, ranging from 10.9 to 13.9 cm. T-test is uh, done to find out the difference uh, in males and females in these indices. The difference is uh, significant only in uh, AP and uh, transverse uh, diameter of the cerebrum with the p-value of uh, 0.02 and 0.01 respectively. And uh, correlation is uh, done with the uh, PSN correlation coefficient. Uh, they, in this uh, correlation, uh, only the uh, uh, in this correlation, uh, age is uh, showing a positive correlation with the AP and transverse diameter of the fourth ventricle and negative correlation with the uh, AP and transverse diameter of the cerebrum. And AP diameter of the fourth ventricle is uh, showing a positive correlation with the transverse diameter of the fourth ventricle and transverse diameter of the fourth ventricle is showing a positive correlation with the uh, uh, AP diameter of the cerebrum. But in this scenario, p-value is not significant. Regression uh, statistics is done to find the correlation with age. Uh, this is the regression uh, statistics for uh, AP dimension of the fourth ventricle. Uh, the formula is uh, y is equals to 0 0.03 plus uh, 0.01x. Here x is the age of the patient and y is the uh, AP dimension of the fourth ventricle. Uh, R square value is 0 0.487 and the constant is 0 0.368. 
and um, this is for uh, this is a regression um, statistics for uh, transverse diameter of the fourth ventricle. The formula is uh, y is equal to 0 0.835 plus 0 0.012x, where uh, x is the age of the patient and y is the transverse dimension of the fourth ventricle. R square value is uh, 0 0.434 and the constant is 0 0.835. AP diameter of the fourth ventricle. The present study showed mean AP length of the fourth ventricle as 7.5 plus or minus 2.5 mm. The maximum value being 16 mm. Uh, Akbari Vijay et al. by plastination method found the mean height of the fourth ventricle as a 2.29 plus or minus 0 0.3 centimeter. Uh, D. Souza and Goller reported height as 1.18 centimeter, 1.08 centimeter, and 3.8 centimeter by CT ventriculography and MRI, respectively. Gamma radian et al. found maximum mean height as 9.68 plus or minus 2.15 mm in Saudi population by CT. My findings are in accordance with those D. Souza and Gamma radian. In the present study, mean length of the fourth ventricle was higher in males than in females, but the difference was not significant. Range and variation was also higher in males than in females. The findings were in accordance with those of study by Bridgi Raj et al. Um, and by Mehram Preeti by CT, where the height of the fourth ventricle was larger in males as compared to females. AP diameter of the fourth ventricle showed non-significant correlation with the AP diameter of the cerebrum and no significant uh, correlation with the transverse diameter of the cerebrum. AP diameter of the fourth ventricle showed positive correlation with age, which was stat statistically significant. Coming to the transverse diameter of the fourth ventricle, it showed a mean transverse diameter as 12.8 plus or minus 3.1 mm in the studied population, the maximum value being 21.1 mm. The findings are in accordance with those of uh, Akbari, uh, F. Jaffner, D. Souza, and Gamma Ridi. The transverse diameter of the fourth ventricle was higher than the AP length of it. Analyzing the gender variation, we found that transverse diameter was higher in males than in females. Transverse diameter of the fourth ventricle showed slight positive correlation with the anterior posterior diameter of the cerebrum and no correlation with the transverse diameter of the skull. Transverse diameter of the fourth ventricle showed positive correlation with age, which was statistically significant. Discussion. Ventricle size is increased in various obstructive lesions like in brainstem tumors, blockage of foramen of Lushka and Nelchindi, ornal cherry malformations, autism, etc. Size is changed even according, according to the hydration status of the patient. It gets increased in first when 48 hours of dehydration and, they get, and then again decreases. CT remains the most accessible, affordable and widely available investigation for brain imaging in Indian scenario. Though the margins of the ventricles are less sharply defined on CT because of partial volume averaging or change in shape of the ventricle due to slight variation in angulation in individual patients due to subjective body buildup. In the, in the context of increased brain ventricle size in routine clinical practice, knowledge of normal range of precise measurements is needed before taking the appropriate decision for further management. These are all my references. Thank you.